Hello and welcome to Mixbook. I am so excited because today I'm going to show you how to create an incredible yearbook or memory book. I'll be here to assist you every step of the way and in this video we'll go over the Mixbook Studio Essentials which is where the magic begins. Now let's take a look into the Mixbook Studio where we offer a wide range of easy to use storytelling tools to bring your photos to life. These are your Mixbook Studio Essentials, making an account, uploading photos, how to place photos, layouts, editing photos, changing themes, changing backgrounds, adding stickers, adding text, and sharing your photo book. Lastly, we'll go over some helpful tips and tricks. Let's begin by showing you how to make a Mixbook account. First, sign up and create your account by going to mixbook.com. Enter your name, email address, school or personal, and password to sign up. If you have a Mixbook account, you will simply log in. Next, hover over the photo books drop down menu and click on yearbooks to browse our designs. We have dozens of exciting pre-made yearbook themes to get you started, or you can choose a blank template to start from scratch. Each theme gives you a cohesive set of background designs, digital stickers, and fonts to help ensure continuity across pages. For the super creative individuals out there, the blank theme might be more your style. Either way, projects are fully customizable once you begin in Mixbook Studio. Once you've selected the perfect design, click on the cover image and choose one of the three available book shapes for your project located in the upper left of the image. You can select from landscape, square, or portrait sizes. After that, you can click the Start Book button to begin creating. Now, let's learn how to upload photos. To upload photos, artwork, images, etc. to your project, you can choose from a variety of different sources, adding from your desktop, from your phone, inviting other educators, committee members, or parents to add photos to your project, or from different social media sources such as your school's Facebook page and past projects. To add photos from your desktop, select Add from Desktop. Now select the images or the folder that has your images and select Open. It's super easy and it saves time to upload photos directly from your mobile device. Simply select add from phone. Open your phone's camera app and place the QR code in frame to generate the upload link on your mobile device and follow the instructions. If you're having trouble scanning the QR code, you can also send the link by email. Just make sure to open the email and link on your mobile device and follow the instructions. You can also take this opportunity to download the Mixbook mobile app, which is another easy way to access the photos on your phone and lets you create projects as well as make changes from anywhere. Once you've started your project, there's also an option to ask educators, committee members, or parents to share their photos with you. From inside the Mixbook studio, click on share and then invite to edit. You can send an email requesting others add photos, or you can send them a direct link to the project. Now let's learn how to place photos. To place individual images in your project, simply drag and drop the desired image from the photo tray onto a photo box on your page. You'll see that the photos instantly snap into place. You can also select multiple photos and drag them onto a page. If you need to add additional photos or photo boxes to the page, please see the next chapter titled Layouts. Another way to place images into your photo book is by using Auto Create. This feature works best with group photos and not individual student portraits that will be seen on the classroom page. The Auto Create feature analyzes all the photos you've uploaded to your project and puts them into a logical order across multiple pages. Give it a try. You can always click undo or move photos around as needed. We also recommend clicking hide used photos. So as you place photos into your project, they are removed from your photo bank. This helps to ensure that you don't duplicate photos. Now let's learn about layouts. The layouts tab is available to give you more photo box layout options for your project. You'll see layout options broken up by pages and spreads. Spreads are layouts that span across two pages and those are ideal for lay flat books. To jump to different layout options, pick from the filter by photos option at the top left where you will see numbers that you're able to click on. From here, you can browse recommended layouts to discover what we think would work best with your specific photos and chosen theme. We do this by analyzing your selected theme, how many photos you have, and the orientation of the photos in order to provide the best recommendations. We want your best photos to be featured in a way that really makes them shine. So for example, we won't include layouts with vertical photo slots if all of your photos are horizontal. Under themes, you can explore the default layouts for your selected theme. However, these won't take into consideration your photo specifics. 
You can also choose one of our basic spread layouts and then add your photos, text, and favorite design elements to make it one of a kind. We even have several pre-made layouts that make creating student portrait pages fun and easy. You can also check out your favorites to find every spread layout that you've ever favorited, even from other projects. And if you'd like to change layouts, first click on your page and you'll see that it's highlighted in purple. Then click on your desired layout from the layout tray. Now let's learn how to edit photos. To adjust your photo within the box, click and hold the four pointed arrow and use your mouse to adjust the placement. You can also crop or resize each individual photo box on your page by clicking on a photo and then dragging the small purple boxes surrounding the image. If you'd like to rotate your photo, click to select the photo and then using the rotate icon located directly above the photo, you're easily able to grab and rotate. If you want to swap images on your page, simply drag and drop a new photo onto an existing photo box and you'll see that the image is replaced, and the original image is dropped back into your photo tray. When resizing images to be symmetrical with your layout, you'll see that we have yellow alignment guides that snap objects into place to ensure that your images are lined up perfectly. If you prefer not to have items lined up, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to fine tune and nudge objects in any given direction. You can also hold the shift key along with your arrow keys to nudge objects across a greater distance. To place photos on the edge, make sure your photo box snaps to and hits the yellow dotted line. Your undo and redo buttons across the top of the page work across any actions you make in Mixbook Studio. If you'd like to adjust your photos, simply click on the photo to display the photo adjustment toolbar. Here, you can slide the zoom in and zoom out buttons to crop your image to your liking. Be careful though, if you zoom in too much, you may get a low resolution warning. If you do, zoom out a bit until the red warning disappears. The Fill Page tool will fill your entire page with one image. The Rotate tool will flip your photo clockwise 90 degrees with each click. The Flip tool mirrors your image, and the Edit tool allows for photo editing. Here, you're able to make a variety of edits, such as adding colorful borders to your photos. You can also add drop shadows to give your photos some depth, and there's an option to add fun filters, such as sepia or black and white. Additionally, you can adjust the brightness, saturation, and contrast of your photos from here. You can also adjust the opacity and change the shape of your photo box. If you choose to undo your changes, you can click Reset to Undo. The Swap tool swaps one existing photo on your spread for another without moving the boxes. The Span tool can place your photo over the gutter, also known as the crease between pages, if we want to have the photo continue on to the following page. This allows us to bring the photo over without the content being cut off. The half span selection places the photo against the gutter of the book's binding edge. The forward and back buttons can bring images forward or send them behind other objects. It's also important to note, do not place photos or text in the center crease area since content will be lost during the binding process. Lastly, the remove button deletes your photo and if you click it again, it will delete your photo box. This next section is all about changing themes. If at any time you're feeling like it's not the perfect theme, then no worries, you can easily change it. First, click themes on the left. And then from here, you can explore other themes denoted by occasion. And you can find school related themes under the heading yearbooks. You can even explore these new themes with your previously uploaded photos. And if you find a theme that you like better, simply click apply theme. Any text or photo changes that you've already made will remain untouched. It's only the visual elements that will change. You can see here that by applying the new theme, the photos have remained the same while the layout and visual elements have changed. Now let's learn about changing backgrounds. The backgrounds tab allows you to choose from a variety of beautiful backgrounds to customize your project. The four options available are uploading your own, searching for backgrounds in our design library, choosing from your current themes backgrounds, or recommended backgrounds. To apply a different background, click the page you want to change. Once highlighted in purple, select your new background from the backgrounds tray. If you prefer a solid color background, click the color option above and choose a solid color, including your school's colors. To search for a background, click the purple drop-down menu where it says all to set a filter. You can search by style, type, or theme to get extra specific results. Include a keyword and hit enter on your keyboard to see the results. 
If you see a background that you like, make sure your page is selected by clicking on it and then clicking the background you'd like to apply. You can also save your favorite backgrounds by clicking on the little heart in the upper right corner. And to upload your own background, select the Upload Backgrounds tab and then the Upload Backgrounds button and follow the instructions. Now let's learn how to add and upload stickers. We have so many cool stickers to make your pages even more appealing. The Stickers tab allows you to browse and place digital stickers on your pages. The four options available are uploading your own, searching for stickers in our design library, choosing from your current theme stickers, or recommended stickers. To place a sticker, drag it from the sticker tray and place it onto your page. You can resize your sticker by clicking on it and then dragging the purple boxes surrounding the image. If you select your sticker, you'll see editing tools. The flip tool mirrors your sticker, the color tool can customize the color of your sticker, and the edit tool allows you to edit your sticker. You can add drop shadows and color effects, adjust the brightness, saturation, and contrast of your sticker, and adjust the opacity. The span tool can place your sticker over the gutter if you want to have the sticker continue onto the following page. The half span selection places the sticker against the center gutter. However, we don't recommend spanning a sticker across the spread if your memory book or yearbook is not a lay flat book. This is because your sticker will be lost inside the gutter or the binding of the book. The forward and back buttons can bring stickers forward or send them behind other objects, and the remove button deletes your sticker. If you'd like to upload your own sticker, select upload stickers and then the upload stickers button and follow the instructions. Now let's learn about adding text. Adding text in captions can really bring a page to life. To add text to your page, or to the spine of your book on hardcover books only, click the text tab on the left. Click add text and place your text box in your desired location. Click the text box to begin typing. To edit your font style, click the text so that the box is highlighted in purple. From the left-hand side of your screen, you'll be able to choose from a variety of different fonts, adjust the size of the text, change the color, make your text bold or italic, and set the alignment in your text box. By clicking on your text box, you'll be able to bring your text box to the front or behind other objects. To move your text box, simply click on the text box so that it's highlighted in purple. Click and drag and place your box elsewhere. Text boxes can also be aligned using our snap grids. And if you aren't sure what to write, Mixbook has a wonderful feature called Caption Ideas. This feature analyzes the individual and clustered photos to automatically suggest written captions to accompany the story. We're able to better understand the photo context, summarize it, and help to provide the right words to support your story. If you don't like the captions that are suggested, you can click Regenerate until you find ones that will fit your needs. In this section, you'll learn how to share and collaborate on your photo book with other people. The share button at the top of Mixbook Studio allows you to share a digital preview of your project with other educators, committee members, parents, etc. You can also invite additional collaborators to help complete the project with you as well. If this is the route you're taking, just choose your preferred sharing method and enter the email addresses or copy and paste the unique link available. Helpful tips and tricks. We truly want you to have the best memory book or yearbook possible. Here are a few tips and tricks that will assist you. To maximize your workspace, click the full screen option in the top left corner located above the word photos. Click on it once more to return to your original workspace. To zoom into your workspace, use the zoom tool at the top left. If you'd like to focus your workspace on one page versus a spread, first open the book and locate the two icons on the top center of the screen. The icon on the left allows you to view a full spread, meaning you're viewing both pages, and the icon on the right allows you to view a single page. To view all of your pages and spreads at once, open your spread view located on the far upper right-hand side of Mixbook Studio, denoted by four purple boxes. Here you can rearrange spreads, copy them, duplicate them, delete them, and move individual pages. To rearrange spreads, hover between the pages and you will see a purple dotted icon. Grab the pages and drag the spread into the desired position. You can also click on the purple dotted icon to see the various options available, including copy, duplicate, and delete the page and or spread. To move individual pages, grab the purple dotted icon on the single page. 
When you drag it into a new page position, those two pages will swap locations. To view your pages in a larger workspace, click the four square icon in the top left corner. You can alter your pages from here as well. To add additional spreads, click on the downward caret next to Add Pages located near the top middle of the screen. This menu provides the option to add a spread. You can add a blank spread, a pre-designed theme spread, or duplicate the current spread. To place a new spread into the desired position, drag the spread to the area. You will see a red line between the pages in the foreground. Release the mouse and the spread will go into the new location. Although Mixbook Studio auto-saves after a minute, you can save your project at any time by clicking Save at the top. If the button is grayed out, that means that your project has saved itself. At this point, you're almost ready to order. Remember to reach out to your Mixbook representative to get your custom coupon code prior to ordering. If you have any questions or need assistance, your Mixbook representative is always happy to help, or you can access our live chat in the bottom right-hand corner. Next, select Preview to see what your project will look like outside of the Mixbook Studio. And when you're ready, select Order. It really is that fun and easy. Hopefully you now feel confident to jump into the Mixbook Studio and start creating your story. Please don't hesitate to reach out to your Mixbook representative or comment below with any questions. And as always, thanks for watching.